Uh, so I'm giving a breakaway on how to engage skeptics with the gospel. And I think the, my favorite part of the breakaway is talking about the various methods that we can employ in order to talk to skeptics. It turns out that those who are skeptical around us or apathetic or just find the story of Christianity to be objectionable are actually quite open to at least hearing what we have to say. At least in my experience, I found that all the time. And yet no one method is guaranteed to be sort of the golden ticket to get access into people's ears. Ultimately, that's the work of the Holy Spirit. And yet he employs different tools and different methods and different talents. And so as I go through my presentation, I talk about uh, the possibility of having just real one-on-one -on -one conversation and getting to know people as actual friends. Uh, but I also talk about just being someone that's willing to invite a friend or neighbor to church with uh, you or to a Bible study or something like that. Uh, it may be that for you, the easiest way or the best way to share your faith is by actually just going at them and sharing your faith, going at them and sharing the scriptures. Or it could be that it's just you sharing your story and how the gospel has impacted your life. And there's many other ways that you can share this story with your skeptical friends and neighbors. And you're going to find that more often than not, again, they're actually open to at least hearing what you have to say. So I think my favorite part of my presentation is the fact that there's many different ways that God chooses to use us as we bring the gospel to those around us that are skeptical, apathetic, and indeed post-Christian.